What's up guys, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. A few months ago, somebody asked me a question to say, what do I do if I'm mixing after adding some plugins and then suddenly my mix just delays? So this type of delay is usually caused by a combination of plugins that you might have put. So what I've found is something that will show you the plugins that are causing the delay. If you listen to this song right here, the song is not missing the beat or anything. But when I add these plugins, you'll see the switch in the vocals. They won't be playing on beat, meaning they'll be missing the beat. So let's just listen to this without the plugins. You know, go so this is the project and then i'll go to my lead vocal group channel and then i just add something there some plugins so this combination of the plugins that i've added will cause a delay in my vocals then i'm going to show you how you can identify which one among these plugins is causing that delay I'm sure you can tell that this project or maybe the vocals are now missing the beat. So maybe let's just listen to this so that you pay attention to the vocals. So you can tell that things from this point are just all over the place. So then how do you identify the plugins that are causing this shift? So what you do is come here. If you look at this on top here, there's this uh, button right here. It's called constraint delay compensation. When I click this button here, it's going to switch off all the plugins that are causing the delay to my vocals. So let me just click this and then you observe here. So you see that all the plugins have been switched off. I'm only remaining with this. So meaning all these plugins that have been switched off are the ones that are causing the delay. So the only thing that I found that you can do from here is just remove these plugins and replace them with different plugins. But if there's somebody out there who knows how to fix this without removing the plugins, please feel free to comment in the comment section below and we can learn from you. So let me play the song and you'll notice that the delay has gone. So let me click on the delay composition button again. you notice that it will come back. To bypass these plugins that are causing the delay. Alright guys, so this is what I found out and this is what I wanted to share with you. Hope it helps you. And if you enjoyed this video, please, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, follow me on Instagram at jdmg and let's chat from there. See you in my next video. Peace.